we've had a, a great shoot and the whole idea was today to basically do sort of like a hair and a, and a fashion shoot outside the normal constraints of uh, sort of commercial arena. Uh, just create something a bit different, a bit quirky, but really concentrate on the hair, uh, the expressions and the poses from the models, a bit of the lighting and just great styling. <laughs> Yeah, I've worked with uh, the guys from Vatican before, uh, great team, uh, lots of creative ability there and ideas. So we kind of got together and thought about what we we're going to do in a shoot and we wanted to make it a little more flexible. Input from everybody, not just from the hairstylist or from the wardrobe stylist. The idea was to have everybody's input. Again, with Chris, the uh, wardrobe stylist, fantastic stuff, and England the makeup artist, loads of ideas coming in. And the, and the really whole concept was to get everybody to have input, so everybody got something from the shoot. But I think that shows, because I think it looks a little more creative and it's a little more free-flowing than your average sort of commercial hair shoot. <laughs> Equipment wise, uh, I always rely on uh, the Hasselblad uh, system. Basically, uh, it produces the most outstanding image quality. It's a system that just works flawlessly together uh, without trying to match different lenses with different cameras. Everything just works as it should. Lighting wise, uh, I use Bones equipment and I have done for many years. I've always found it very, very reliable. Uh, I know the reflectors and the modifiers inside out, so you know, to me, it's just second nature to pick up exactly what I need. We've used a variety of different sort of modifiers today, a softbox, we've even introduced a bit of ring flash as fill light, which adds the flexibility when you're moving in and out and closer to the models uh, to be able to uh, quickly adjust the power to adjust the fill. 
And it's one of the great aspects of uh, ring flash, really. I think a lot of people tend to overuse it as a stark sort of fashion feature. But as a light in its own and as a fill light, it produces some really, really nice results. And especially when you're using uh, lots of accessories on the head, it, rather than just light from one side, it allows you to pick out the features from within the detail of the, the garments and, and the leather that we're using today.